Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Desi G here, and I'm coming to you guys with an FAQ video. I was going to do a home workout today. If you follow me on Instagram, I know you were expecting a home workout, but I get so many repetitive questions about basic things. I said, let me answer as many questions as I can, and if you have more, put them below and I'll do another. But I said, let me answer some questions so I can get some things out of the way. And I have a list here that's right on paper. I wrote it with a pen. If you don't know what a pen is, you can Google it and we'll have a link below or you can Google pen. Um, and I just want to answer some questions. So I have my list here. I'm just going to start out and then I will resume with workout videos. Okay. So first up, I get a lot of questions about what I eat and I feel like I address this in a couple of Instagram posts as well as some older videos, but I'm going to go through it again. I'll have my complete list of exact macros down below, even though I don't follow them to a T. Right now, I'm currently um, only keeping up with, I'm eating protein, veggies, um, healthy fats, and starches, or um, a carb for breakfast. That's pretty much it. I do have cheat meals. I do eat out occasionally. If you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, you know I love Denny's and Sizzler. But when I do eat out, I am very conscious of what I eat, and I'm very careful to make sure that I'm consuming mainly protein and some veggies, get some complex carbs perhaps, I don't go haywire. Um, so I'll have the exact everything below, but I don't have a completely strict diet. That's the good thing about weightlifting and the, the kind of exercise that I do. You need to consume a lot of calories because you're burning a lot. So I eat very regularly. Breakfast might be some oatmeal, um, some fruit. I might have a protein shake. Sometimes I have nothing for breakfast because I go to the gym, then I come home and have a protein shake. I might have some eggs or something like that. I, might, I usually have oatmeal or protein shake. I'm not big on breakfast. Um, I like cheat meal breakfasts the most, you know, and then for lunch, I'll have a salad and some protein, some beans. I don't have an extremely strict diet. I really, really don't. I don't eat a lot of carbs simply because they overfill me and I just don't like that sluggish feeling. I do like carbs. I'm over the hump where I can say like I don't consume a lot of carbs. So I mean, I'll have more below. I don't want to go into a whole huge thing about that. Um, when do I take my protein? Um, I have protein only when I feel like I'm not having enough in the meals that I eat. And I also do a post protein shake work after working out, especially if I did weight lift lifting or something really strenuous. Um, you can also take a protein shake or have a protein shake or something protein, um, high in protein early in the morning. That's really great for your muscles, especially for stabilization. If you're working out, it's great to feed your muscles while you're resting and while you're not doing a lot, while you're not tearing fibers. Um, so yeah, and you don't have to have a protein shake the way I consume my protein shakes. You can create green shakes. You can make protein shakes out of beans and veggies and all different types of ingredients. I'm sure you guys know that by now. Um, you can also do meal replacement shakes. I actually have some products here behind me. Um, you can do meal replacement. You can do replenishing shakes, which I actually like. This one is actually from G6 Sports Nutrition, and this is mango sugar. It is so good. And this is great to take after working out. Not, it's, not that it's necessarily just a protein shake, but it helps to replenish your whole body and um, from working out and tearing fibers. And it really helps to rebuild you up. So the next days and the days going into your training, you're not sore and sluggish and your knees aren't killing you and your back isn't aching. If you take vitamins and supplements, you will love this product. Um, I'll, do a, I'll talk a little bit more about them at the end. How often do I work out? Sometimes I end up working out every day. Generally, I like to work out every day, but honestly, I, I'll work out one day. I'm not sore the next when I wake up. I want to go work out. So a lot of people tend not to want to overtrain, but I feel as long as you're taking proper care of your body, you're consuming the proper amount of nutrients, you're being safe, you can work out every day. It's not the best because you don't want to um, overextend your muscles. You don't want to cause your muscles to eat themselves. So you gotta, you gotta have rest days. So I would go two days on, one day off, one day on, two days off, or every other day, or three days, two days rest, three days again. It all depends on your body and your lifestyle and, and how often you go to the gym. Um, and then when I do go to the gym, I work out for a couple hours. That's not necessary. You can get a workout in 45 minutes, depending on what you're training, where, how heavy, how hard, 
you know, how much time you have, you know, and what you want to do with your body. I would start out with a 45 minute workout, go in 15 minutes cardio, work out for about a half an hour, do 15 minutes cool down, stretch, roll your body out, different things like that. Um, so it just really depends on what stage of fitness you're at. I would definitely just go based on your schedule and try to get it in at least every other day or at least three days a week spaced out and good and try to if you can't do a lot in the gym try to do some at home park workouts or stuff like that a lot of people want to know my fitness goals and what kind of channel this is and what kind of you know body type i am into weight training you'll see here on my channel i do mostly resistance and weights and different things like that i don't do a lot of cardio um, i do a lot of body weight equipment free stuff I'm going to try to do more, but I do like to use resistance. I love resistance bands. I have them available on my Big Cartel site. They really, really help to keep tension on your muscles and really help you to grow your body in a small amount of space. They're like the weight-free weight. I love them. I used to love my ankle weights, and I do, but sometimes they're heavy to carry, so I'll just bring one of my resistance bands, and it's like having a 10-pound weight on each leg. So... I absolutely love that. Um, I'm trying to grow my body and grow my muscles. Um, I'm trying to lose a little more in my midsection, stretch and lengthen out my muscles, but I'm mostly into growth and body building and sculpting. I'm looking for a very strong athletic build. So that's kind of what you'll get here on this channel. Do I wear makeup to the gym? Occasionally when I wanna look cute, if it's a Monday or if it's the end of the week or if I just wanna look cute, it's a holiday season, who knows? I may put on like a BB cream or I may take a little foundation with some matte moisturizer or primer or a little mascara. If I'm having more blemishes than usual, I may cover them up. Um, some days I feel like my face is just a little bit more discolored than others, so I'll just take a little foundation and moisturizer and blend it. And that's just to soften the blow walking into the gym of everybody because if your makeup is not sweat off by the end of your workout, you probably didn't work out that hard and I'm not really in that into looking that cute into the, in the gym. I like to look cute when I first get in so I can take a couple of selfies, look cute in the beginning of your workout, you know, do whatever you're gonna do with social media because that's the day and age we live in and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. Do whatever you're gonna do. Kill yourself during your workout, take one at the end. I'm more into taking pictures of my body in the gym because that's more what I'm working on. So I'm not really too focused on my face. May put on some waterproof mascara if you got a little gym pay. Um, but that's, that's really it. I don't really go too heavy in. I'm not completely against wearing gym, makeup to the gym if that's your thing. Um, but if you're going to work out around your makeup, then you're really not that serious about the gym. Um, weave in the gym. Now I don't wear weave anymore, but I used to, and it's kind of hard when you're sweating and different things like that. It's hard if you have a glue in, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just, I would recommend switching to a wig for a while. If you're serious about your fitness and you really want to get it going, you're wearing a sew-in, you can do it, but you have to shampoo a lot more than usual and tie your hair up properly and stuff like that. I know people love their their hair tickling their booty in the gym, but that's just not something I'm concerned about. But if you are wearing a wig, you might switch to a cap um, or tie your hair up or do something like that. It's, it's hard to work around, but it can be done depending on how much sacrifice you're willing to make. Where do I get my gym clothes? I get my gym clothes from everywhere. Gym clothes are like a new obsession. Just like when I first started out with makeup, I would get makeup from everywhere. I would look for makeup in 7-Eleven. I would look for makeup everywhere. So I look for gym clothes everywhere. I go to the thrift store. I love Burlington Coat Factory for gym clothes. Ross, Macy's, anywhere and everywhere. Um, but starting out, if you don't have a lot of money or you're not willing to invest yet... Once you start seeing goals and stuff, when you start seeing gauge, you're gonna be like, I need some cute gym clothes, excuse me. But I would start with the Goodwill. You know, depending on how you feel, some people do not like thrift. If you're a thrifter, try the Goodwill, definitely. You can find some cute stuff. Other than that, go to Ross. Um, the equivalent of that for the East Coast is probably like Conway. Um, Ross is probably a little bit higher up in Conway. TJ Maxx, anywhere where you can find inexpensive clothing, you can find inexpensive workout clothes. I would go to yard sales everywhere. I look, I just wear everything. Um, what do I do for soreness? Well, like I was saying, I have a lot of products here that help me deal with soreness and different things. When you are completely exerting so much physical strength in the gym, you do need, I don't want to say you need, but 
you know, food and, and very natural products outside of supplements are great for your body. And there are a lot of natural things that you can take. But if you do like vitamins and different supplements like that, um, these type of products are very helpful with that. Since the beginning of my gym and heavy lifting journey, I've noticed a complete difference in the way my body feels and functions. I barely ever have any joint pain problem. My knees feel great. I generally physically always feel great. Um, now that working out, another supplement you can take aside from different things like this is MSN. Or if you eat the bone marrow and different things in that in your foods, those are all really great for your joints. Um, this replenish in particular is a great product to take it so tasty I don't want that to be the only thing that I tell you about it but it's really really high in protein it's high in amino acids and different things to help your body recover from you doing so much in the gym I have more information about it in the bottom bar like I said um, and then of course um, I also have refuel which is a protein drink that's also high in amino acids to help your body recover and during your workout, it helps with endurance and refueling and different things like that. I'll have more information in the bottom bar so you can find out more about it. So you can see if it's something that you're interested in. My lights are kind of blinding me. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any more questions that we have. I get asked a lot about what I recommend for be beginners. I recommend the same thing that I do for beginners with lighter weight and less reps. Honestly, I don't do anything super extravagant. I don't do anything insane. A lot of people say that, oh, you know, that they lack the confidence, but you just got to go in the gym with the mindset that you are there to do what you need to do for you and nobody else. I do not be checking for anybody's approval in the gym. You know, it's always fun to, you know, go in the gym and, you know, have a camaraderie. But if you need to go in there machine mode and go in there machine mode, that's kind of what I, I kind of feel like my pre-workout is about. I get in there, I take my little energy boost. It's basically a whole bunch of caffeine, a whole bunch of different things to help you metabolize and work out better and refuel your muscles and different things like that. It gives me endurance. I focus, kill my workout and I go home. And I've been seeing, I've been seeing some of the same people for almost a year now, but I'm going to get out of here because this video is going to be extremely long and I'm exhausted. I have a lot of makeup. I'm tired. I have these boxers on. I probably look weird. I probably won't even like this video. But as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for commenting, reading, and subscribing. I'm Desi G, your online.